Hi, this is Alex with EcoCamp North America, and today we're going to talk about our wet sieve apparatus. Uh, this is part of our laboratory equipment section uh, where we're really looking at particularly soil stability, uh, whether you're agricultural or soil conservation, understanding how your soil is going to interact, whether it's through a, uh, wind erosion or water erosion or how it's going to do with crops is very important. So this system is great. It's really compact. It's designed to do eight samples simultaneously, so you're going to be able to get through a lot of smaller samples uh, very quickly. What's going to come in this set? We have the, the shaking apparatus with a, a timer setting as well as continuous. You're going to have 16 of these little stainless steel cups. Uh, it comes with that. That way you'll use two of them per test sample. And then it will come with eight sieves. The standard sieve is 250 microns. Uh, you can see here how big that is. But then you can also have the option to do uh, different sizes ranging from 45 microns up to the two millimeters even. So it really depends on what type of soil, what type of aggregates you're looking at on which one's going to make sense for your application. But it's going to come with eight of these 250 uh, micro, uh, micrometer ones. What you'll do is you'll take it, you'll add your dry, air dried sample here, uh, pop it into the holder. You'll typically wet your sample, let it sit five to ten minutes, and then what you'll do is you'll drop it down, uh, pop it into place, make sure that this reservoir, these stainless steel cups are filled with DI water or your water to the level that you want, that you're going to have that soil submerged. Uh, there's little actual fill points in the top of this here, so you can fill it with your uh, little DI water squirt bottle. And then what you'll do is you'll flip it on, let it run for that three minutes. You will then pop it back out, pull out your, your first round, prepare your second one, and then do it again. Uh, and then you can look at the different mass fractions once you dry these out to see where did that sample go, at what point did it break down. Uh, and you can really get through a lot of samples very quickly with a lot less samples, uh, a lot less mass of your material. So this is a great little setup. Uh, we see a lot of these going into lab space and they really just last a very long time. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions about it. Uh, we, we, there's a great manual and a lot of instruction videos on how to use these.